Hello, pumpkins. We are live again. Exciting. Beautiful, wonderful. Still setting up a little bit. My setup is overly complicated because I only have one monitor. And because I decided being a VTuber was a good idea. Let's see. I'm actually going to turn up my mic volume because when I was reviewing the last videos, they seemed really quiet. So just as a warning, uh, the volume is about to get a little louder. I don't know how by how much, but here we go. It's up a little. I'm going to turn the background up a little more. So that uh, if this is too noisy, go ahead and um, turn your stuff down a little bit. But I'm hoping this will bring it more close to other videos in volume because I think mine was like weirdly quiet. All right, let's see if this is good. I hope so. <laughs> hey Tay Dot! <laughs> How are you? I should probably pop out the OBS stream chat or something. Man, I don't know what to do with this situation because it's not showing me a lot of the chats that are happening um, on my phone that I'm using to monitor this stream. It's pretty much just showing me an OBS. Oh, I'm handsome today. Aw, thank you so much. I actually did change my long drive avatar. I don't know if that's what you meant though. We're playing the long drive today. It's a very strange game where um, the goal is to go visit your mom. Who lives very far away. I like handsome every day. Aw, stop. I'm a VTuber. I'm always handsome. I know that. Otherwise, why would I make it this way, right? Uh, a lot of people make their own um, VTuber avatars. And a lot of people don't. But I don't know how many of which. I don't know what the ratio is. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's really nice. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Edit stream info. It just says dog right now. Let's say we're long driving. Uh, changed that. And changed the game selection. Uh, where's the drop down? Search for category. Okay, now people will know that we're playing the long drive. <laughs> yeah, it just says dog. Just like, dog. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, Is there any lag? Uh, are y'all you all doing good? Because um, last time I've streamed, apparently there was a whole bunch of, of dropped, dropped info. I think I figured out why. <laughs> I think it was just because, um, because I... Um, didn't realize I had some like scientific stuff going in the background. You know, you can let scientists borrow your computer for computational power. If you've heard of like folding at home, it's like that kind of thing. And I realized I had mine set up to be always going. <laughs> and it's just like, oops. <laughs> so hopefully maybe this is better. Um, well, uh, we won't know until we go. Uh, so let's do it. All right, last time we left off, it was episode 16. I don't know if this is how they're actually going to be labeled on the YouTube videos, especially since last time um, I made two different videos. So I'll probably number those differently. We'll see. Anyway, here's the bus. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want a tour or anything. Right now, it looks like we're traveling down the side of a road. We had probably just checked out this... Um, Oh, here, let's go to sleep real quick.
tears falling down at the party. Saddest little baby in the room. Uh, we can take this. Why not? Here's one of the new vehicles in the game. Got added very recently. It's a car that can pick up other cars, which is exciting. I don't know if it can do them when they're halfway up, like if I tried to put the bus on here. That'd probably be a bad idea. I was thinking about filling this guy up and driving around just for fun. I probably won't take it with because... I mean, I still haven't figured out how to drive two vehicles at once as one person. <laughs> Maybe it's possible, but I don't know. I'm worried that I'm not seeing all the comments because on OBS I'm seeing more than I am on my monitor. I wonder if I can pop this out really quick. Yeah, I can just put this on top somewhere. Let's grab a pen. Oh, that just pinned all of OBS. That won't help. Never mind. Let's see. Well, it looks okay so far. Alright, so these look great. These are a new um a new type of object that also got added recently. Uh they're a type of carrying tote. So let's see about this. There was a context menu that came up. Here we go. Ah. We'll have to be aiming at the very top of the lid. Ooh. That's cool. So now we can put cool stuff in here. Like, if I wanted this bacon. We just drop that right in. Squish that down. <laughs> yeah, sure. Perfect. Now I have my bacon. I don't actually need the bacon. This is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, stand up. There we go. I can hook these on the side of the bus and throw stuff in them. That sounds fun. There we go. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I love that. I'm actually going to toss this bacon. Goodbye. Yeet. Boink. A bunch of junk in there. I could probably transfer to some of these cool baskets. They're like normal baskets, but with a lid on them. It's beautiful. This bike is really cool. If I drove bikes, I do not, though. Eh. I remember these are pretty space efficient as far as containing liquids, so I think I'll take this with. Normally, I park closer, but I think the bus spawned further off than I actually saved. Oh, well. So this is a really fun game. It's a, a it's an apocalyptic scenario where most of the world died, and everybody left is uh, just wandering around Mad Max style, worrying about food and water. And we've got a long distance caravan situation with our with our little bus. And these are just a bunch of trailers with junk in them. And my bus has lights all over it. And a passenger who is actually... He's actually the corpse of an en enemy NPC I killed, so that's beautiful. Got a bunch of stuff in here, like a gun and a casket, because you never know. Oh yeah, let's move this guy a little bit. Oh, he's heavy. He's a heavy boy. No wonder he's filled with 
uh, 52 liters of oil. Of course he's a heavy boy. And a bunch of some of my other stuff. This is a, a metal detector, a bunch of explosive giraffes, uh, an alarm clock, you know, normal stuff. I'll get that organized at some point. I don't feel like doing an organization today. I want to just make some distance. Let me double check there's nothing else I want from this gas station, then we can head out. Oh, a bun bun. Oh, no! Okay, good. These guys are mutant uh, mutant bunnies that are very big and very vicious, Monty Python style. And I forgot that they're attracted to um, shiny vehicles, but not if the engine's on. If you keep your engine on, they don't bother you. All right, what's in here? Here's some gas. Sure, I'll take it. Oh, wait. Let's check to see if there's anything in the well. Nope. Well, not technically a well. Just some sort of thing. All right, let's go. Oops. I forgot you can drink the drink the gas. Don't want to do that. It's not healthy. Not healthy for growing boys. Also, trans rights. <laughs> this is the trans rig. Very excited. It says welcome to the chat room again. It keeps disconnecting me for some reason. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, hold on. Some technical difficulties really quick. Just poking around in OBS for a little bit. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. Alright, let's detach this. And toss it in here. There's no electricity in this game yet, but they're planning on implementing it at some point. Alright, let's, uh... Let's get going. Big boy bus, time to roll. Those are, uh, gigantic rock structures in the distance. You can actually get on top of those and stuff. Right now, they're not loaded in all the way. Run really fast down these hills, so I'm probably gonna decelerate until we get to a more flat spot. If we crash into these poles and rocks, it's gonna be bad for bus. Oops. I'm gonna throw on the brake really quick. We're getting way too much momentum. You see the trailers flying around in the background? Ah! <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, we may have tangled ourselves up real quick. Let me just... Oh, we'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the reasons I was thinking about getting rid of the trailer soon. Great for storage, uh, not so great for um, high-speed shenanigans. The stream was acting up a bit. You think it's Twitch? I hope it's just Twitch. I've been trying to figure out what it is in case I can solve it on my end. It keeps replaying? Ugh. Let me know if you miss anything. Like if it stops me in the middle of a sentence or something. Nah, see, there was this one comment you said, Vroom, that ended up not showing up on the Twitch chat I was looking at. Interesting. Okay, well that doesn't bode, but we'll keep going. I would like to figure out if it's something I can solve or not. I think it was not as bad as it was last time, but I guess we'll find out. I don't know if, um, if maybe when the game lags, it causes the stream to lag. I don't know. Don't worry about that trailer. It'll flip over. 
This is zero acceleration right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it flipped over, but it traded the flip with a different one. Oof. Downhill. Let's decelerate a little bit. With our bus setup right now, we kind of don't really need anything. It's really nice. This is a survival game, and it can be, like, tricky when running out of fuel and stuff. But for now, we're doing great. Oh, there they all are. There we go. It's a much more reasonable road. And actually use the gas. Looks like we're gonna want to refuel in a little bit. Thankfully, I have all the all the liquids we need on the actual bus. And as far as the game is right now, uh, the tires will never need replacing if they're in perfect condition. And the radiator will never never need refilling if it's in perfect condition. So right now the radiator and the tires we don't need to worry about at all. And there's also, uh, because of no electricity, we also don't need to worry about the lights or the ignition uh, or the battery in general. Because there technically isn't one. But I think they're going to change that at some point. Yeah, I'm monitoring from my phone at the same time I'm streaming, and it seems to be, like, maybe even a whole minute behind? That doesn't bode well. Well, I am uploading the previous ones to YouTube at the moment. Maybe that's the problem. I should probably stop them, or at least check to see if they're good. Alright, more maintenance. I'm still getting to the swing of it. No, the uploads are complete. They shouldn't be doing anything. Okay, weird. Oh, yeah. Let's check OBS for comments. It's weird that I have to do that. I wish they would all show up on the actual chat, but apparently they're not. Also, I think my avatar is smiling a lot more than it's supposed to. <laughs> That's fine, at least it looks pleasant. I like that the bats are all dangling in unison. They're very cute. Oh! Oh, I jinxed it. Sometimes I go out into this mode to make sure I'm uh, not missing any big buildings or anything. It looks like there's a there's a boat over there. We could try going to the boat. I'm not sure how much I actually need. I guess we might as well. Let's hit that tower too. setting these compasses so I'll sort of know which way to go back to the road from in case I get turned around
should generally leave the engine on because I have a crap ton of fuel and I don't want to get hit by rabbits. The rabbits are more of a threat to my vehicle than running out of fuel is. Oh, hey, a house. Heh <laughs> There's a bottle over there. Probably not worth it. We got a nice gun. Fantastic. Not much else. I wonder if I can get that bottle by just walking around. Eh, nope. I can get it by jumping, though. Eh? Eh? I can get it! That, that. Head to the boat, which is way over there. Can dump these off over here. Not gonna need them, and probably not gonna need this soon either. The shovel works pretty great for most enemies. There is a sword and stuff. But the shovel just feels right. Oops. I probably set these incorrectly. That's fine, though. That boat's a lot bigger than it looks, so it's a lot farther than it looks as well. But as long as we know which direction we're coming at it from, we're good. It disappeared behind a hill, didn't it? That's okay. We'll get we'll get to it. Yeah, there it is. There's the tower and there's the road. Yeah, it looks like the stream is way behind. I hope it's working okay.
Wait, is that a boat? Yeah, it's a boat. It's a little bit weird when the only part you can see is the top. Oh! Lanced a rock there. Gotta be careful of rocks. Is that a building over there? Cool. Ah! I was not careful of this rock. Oh goodness. This is where stilts would come in handy. I was just thinking, because I saw the developer's thing where he had, um, he had essentially used, um, fridges to give him hinges that he had attached other stuff to. And he had it so that he could put his car up on stilts. And I'm like, that'd be really handy for situations like that, or when you have to change a tire. Oh, hey, there's another tower. It's a good place to get guns if you don't have any. Might as well stop by. It's really close. These are one of the buildings that spawn randomly regardless of how close you are to the road. There's some buildings that only spawn on the road. An extra light? A half-buried tire? That's weird. wonder if it likes the shovel. Oh, no way! What? Okay, I wasn't actually expecting this. It's like a brand new tire. What the heck? I'm pretty sure I read all the dev updates. Oops, don't want to damage it. This is literally a perfect tire. And it was buried? I didn't think that was a thing. I thought for sure I read all the updates. That is really interesting. I thought I had the shovel for a reason. That's really interesting. Maybe the metal detector works too. I know that it will beep if you aim it at stuff, but I've never seen it um, beep with buried stuff around. Let's try it. Let's see if there's stuff around the bottom. Nope. If I uh, drop the shovel on the floor, yeah. It detects the shovel. Oh. It only de detects the, the metal part of the shovel. That's fascinating. So they did pretty good on that.
do some barrel management. Probably some item management, too. Might be a good time for organizing. It'll probably help with the bus's torque and everything to drop off a bunch of stuff I don't need. Like, I was really excited that the Haunted Mansion has, like, books. But, like, it's not like I have a bookshelf. And if I do have anything heavy, trying to figure out how to move it more towards the front of the bus would probably be a good idea. I should probably do what other people are doing and make a second floor, especially now that the pallets are the way they are. Is this the back? Yeah, this is the back. Pretty good. Pop all these open. Alright, I guess it's barrel time. I should probably leave everything that isn't diesel and oil, because I really can't use them. Sometimes I grab stuff for roleplay. But today I'm feeling utilitarian. Empty. I dropped them like that to show that I've checked them already. It's nice to know that if you wanted to make a building out of barrels, it would be trivial. Be super easy. Might actually be pretty fun if the, the second floor was like stacked barrels. Because the lightweight ones are very lightweight. What do you got? Gas and oil. That one's mixed, so I'll leave it. Got some diesel. Nice. These ones I just hike over to the entrance and stack them over here. Gas and oil. I'll leave this one. I like to bring gas with just because it's, um, it can be sometimes unpredictable to know, like, what engines you're going to come across later. So, if I ever have the need or desire to change engines, I won't necessarily get to pick whether it's a gas or diesel engine. Alcohol has use during, um, during, um, gameplay when you're using hunger and thirst but i'm not using hunger and thirst just because the dev decided it would be funny to make it as disgusting as possible which is like totally fine sometimes but i felt like it wasn't great for streaming oil whoops Yeah, I guess I do have the one pallet. Putting it right at the top and then stacking the barrels on it is probably not a bad idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not worried about those guys. Oil. Hmm. 
More oil. Beautiful. I won't necessarily take these all. It's probably be too heavy to take all of them. Diesel! Nice! Diesel's not rare, but it's the one thing I absolutely need. I could have, like, a little library on the top. It's probably better than having a trail behind. I think I have enough gas, so I'm just gonna leave this one. Probably only one barrel of gas is all I really need for just in cases. Because I think one barrel of gas can probably take you all the way to another boat. Maybe. Well, I can always have two just in case. Well, time for naps. I secretly use these moments to check up on OBS. Because you can't move while you're sleeping. Did I go to sleep too early? Weird. Empty. Oil. Don't need that much oil. And alcohol. And a mix. I think I'm good. Spending too much time in boats is uh, easy to do. At the beginning of the game, there are godsend. But at the place I'm at, it's totally fine if I leave some. see about this. Nice. I love that you can turn off collision for these. If I stick it up there like that, and then hop up here, I can now grab it. Seems like if I put them lengthwise like this, I can have two of them in a row. Or two of them next to each other. And then I guess try to throw some barrels up here. One of mine. Yeah. First, let's check what's actually in here. Okay, 60 diesel. Oil, oil, oil. Oil, oil. Okay, we're not gonna need any more oil. We have plenty. Uh, we have diesel. 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 Okay. <laughs> We probably didn't need to stop here at all. Blood, water, alcohol, gas. You know what? I'll take the other barrel of gas. Um, I'll take some full barrels of diesel and put them on top. And some oil. Actually, I'll put the oil on top because I, I probably will need, it, need to access it less. Well, let's see. How much oil did we use up? Only a couple liters. And how much diesel did we use up? Like, almost 100 liters. Okay, we can put the oil at the top. I 
I like to fill them only to about 60 because that's about what you can pick up easily without it being a problem. I'm pouring one from one barrel into the other. Because one only had like um, a dozen or so. There we go. Now it's empty. You can use it for stacking other stuff on top of it. See if I can reach it from up there. Eh, ow! <laughs> My glorious building. Let's put him um, right up here. Keeps trying to murder me. Well, there we go. This is going to be great. That's something. Probably want to rethink these lights. This one doesn't even have any in it. Probably they all got knocked off. This was done this way so that I could have lights sort of going all the way around. Um, it really helps with driving at night. But... At this point, I have so many light sources that it's probably overkill. So I might want to take some of this down or move it. Hmm. I guess I'll keep it for now? I'll worry about that later. When I have more pallets to stack more stuff up here. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to put this one sideways. Like a smart person. Because it has fizz lock, so it won't go anywhere. Alright. Let's put more stuff up there. Having all the stuff back here feels like a bad idea. What are you, oil? Okay, you can go up there too. Oh boy! Okay. However you want to do it, buddy. He's got opinions. Probably get away with a couple more things up there. Like, um, 
maybe two? Let's try these. Eh? Eh? Definitely stay on there. Making the bus more top heavy for sure. But I think it can handle that. You're an empty. Yeet. You're a diesel. You can come up to the front. Go ahead and put that there. I guess here. And then, um, those can stay there. We'll move some of the stuff back here, up there. one's gonna stay put apparently a six of blood you know what okay we can still do the mom's a vampire bring her blood thing i think that's kind of cute that's diesel that's diesel these can both go up there We'll use this to fill up. Nice, I can do it through the window. That's perfect. I had no idea I could do that through the window. I love that. See how much we got. Whoops, that was a dismount. Okay, almost full. Need about 20 more. I probably should bring all the diesel from the boat. Does that even do anything? Oh, yeah, it just became full. Oh. Oh. Okay. It doesn't stop filling even if it's full. Wait, okay. So this is 25.7. 25.7. Okay, so it does just sort of dump it down there if it's already full. Good to know. Yeah, the bus definitely feels like it's gonna start tilting a bunch if I don't even up the stuff up there. But I'm not super concerned. Is this even liftable? I guess not. How did I even get it here? Maybe I should drink some of it? Can I make it liftable? Wait, can I rotate it? Yes. I'll just open this up for a little bit.
Okay, now we can move it. Oh, just barely. Let's kick it. That should be just fine. Might as well fill up the oil while we're down here. Healthy bus. Let's see where we are real quick. We're 52 minutes. So I'm going to cut this recording. Uh, I'm going to chop it and then keep going. So, everybody who's been um, watching the cut version, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a good day. And here we go. <laughs>